Let's make a bet. This video is the story of the most insane, influential, and impactful rocket launchers in FPS gaming history. How they changed everything and pushed the limits for the genre. If you can show me one cooler than this, I'll eat my words and admit defeat. So let's see if I can hold up my end of the deal, shall we? So imagine you're thinking about playing a fresh new fun game, you want to try it out, it's got some guns and fun in it, and then you just take a metal tube and fire some freaking explosives out of it. Of course, 1993 Doom's rocket launcher has to be talked about. It's the father of the modern rocket launcher. Now it may not have all the fancy updated frills that some of these others do, which we're going to get to that insanity here in just a moment, but it makes up for it with the originality and ingenuity. For without the building blocks of the original, on what would the others stand? It's got everything a rocket launcher needs, and it's one of the first. It's a slower, more methodical fire rate, meaning that you just can't spam it at light speed, forcing you to take your aim, fire, and calculate your next move. Although, if we're being honest here, it is pretty dang fast. The balance of self-damage if you shoot something too close, be it a wall, a closing door, or an enemy, is absolutely punishing. It teaches you to respect the rocket, but man does it feel good. You just have to understand the strengths, weaknesses, and those punishments. Because once you make that first mistake, you won't want to do it again. Even if this isn't technically the first ever rocket launcher in existence, the impact it's had on gaming as a whole can't be understated. It doesn't need to be overpowered just to leave a mark, it's just got to lay that solid foundation for years to come. And it does that because it's a masterclass in FPS weapon design. But now amazing as the Doom rocket launcher is, truly, it wasn't perfect. There was something missing. Because what Doom could not do, Quake did. If there is one rocket launcher that has to be talked about, it is Quake. A lot of the ones that I'm going to talk about today are wild and extravagant yet influential. See, Quake knew the risk-reward with power and self-damage, but they kicked it up a notch. Not only was this a key battle tool, but also a navigational one. Much like Doom Eternal's Meat Hook played a pivotal role in the 2020s, Quake would allow you to boost up the heights by firing a rocket under you. This is great for tactical maneuvers in battle, because movement in this game is key. You can put yourself into advantageous positions to get the jump on your foes, and the thing is, nobody had done this before. Now other games like Team Fortress 2 would follow suit. Its rocket launcher named the original was modeled to look just like Quake's. And to make things quake in fear even more, March 31st, 1997's Mission Pack 2 Dissolution of Eternity, released on the same day as Doom 64, has a new option and ammo type, multi-rockets. Four rockets, each doing half damage, means double damage. Who was doing this at the time? I'll tell you exactly who. Quake was. The power, the rocket jumping, the ingenuity, Quake had it all. And of course, the most important thing of all, it's fun to use. If it's not fun, why even bother with it, right? See, without Quake, is there even really a rocket launcher? Now as we go into the next rocket launcher, if you like these higher effort style videos on Doom and FPS gaming mechanics, consider subscribing. There's more to come for you to enjoy. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Now we have to take a step back one year to 1995 because there's a hauntingly fun yet unconventional and unique rocket launcher we can't forget. It's completely scary, but also holy? Yes, the Cleric Player class from Raven Software's 1995 Hexen wields the Wraith Verge. Check it out. Multiple homing rocket launcher missile ghosts that literally rip and tear their victims apart. The terrifying cries of the holy vengeful ghost, the final thing they hear as they're ripped limb from limb. Yes, this rocket launcher literally rips, tears, and slices its prey into a million pieces. And the cleric can relentlessly fire this over and over again. And when he's out of ammo, or mana in this case, use the Crater of Might item to refill everything all over again, rinse, repeat, destroy. Holy heck, literally. Now the Phoenix Rod from Heretic deserves two spots on this list, not just one, but why? Well, in regular mode, the Phoenix Rod feels great. It's a fireball blasting rocket launcher, how can you go wrong? And on each impact, to leave its mark, each fireball explodes into the being of a phoenix, incinerating its victim as it leaves the mark, reminding them forever of what slayed them, sending them to their doom. Powered up, though? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Now when you use the Tome of Power power-up item, you temporarily buff your weapons in this game. And the Phoenix Rod turns from a rocket launcher into a literal flamethrower, torching anything it touches. Call it a fiery King Midas. Instead of touching things and turning them to gold, well, the Phoenix Rod just turns them into molten ashes. 
Oh, don't worry about ammo. You just hold that fire button down for a continuous flame, and you won't use any extra. That flame takes forever to chill out. As the late great Billy Mays said, but wait, there's more. So what makes this Phoenix Rod even better? Yes, it does get better. Using the Ring of Invincibility power up, means that you're protected from all damage as you rush into the ugly faces of your victims, ones not even a mother could love if we're being honest here, unscathed, leaving the last thing they see as a scorched vision of your flames of death. Dang. Dusk's Riveter Rocket Launcher is truly riveting. See, rocket launchers are supposed to be fun and fair and balanced and firing at a moderately slow rate to balance out their immense power. And usually, that's enough. No special stuff needed. Dusk Riveter says no, it is much more worthy than that. How does it change the game for what rocket launchers can do in FPS? This should be called a semi-automatic rocket launcher because wow, the speed of these rockets. It feels like just as fast as you can left click, this gun will pelt out rocket after rocket after rocket onto unsuspecting foes. And hey, you can also, if that's not good enough, do the quake style rocket jumping. I mean, you do pay the price for self damage, but this cost allows you to fly around the arena and makes insane speed run tricks possible. Dusk wasn't afraid of taking a classic rocket launcher formula and putting its own spin on it, and it's definitely an important one to take note of. Oh boy, I'm not sure how people will react to this one, because Amid Evil's rocket launcher blows things to a whole new universe. Literally. And just wait until we talk about how it works powered up. A hint of power is in its name, the Celestial Claw. Now this ain't no claw machine grabber, it's a particularly punishing planetary projector, whose claw holds and takes literal planets within its grasp and fires them mercilessly ahead onto its victims. Yes, the Celestial Claw rips and tears planets from the atmosphere only to use them as killing machines. Even Earth is not safe from the Claw, and powered up, this thing upgrades planets into stars, so technically you could shoot the sun. Now I can't help but wonder about the civilizations on these planets and the utter ruin they likely come to when fired upon unsuspecting foes. And if Earth is blasted away, uh, wait a second, how's that work? I mean, you're on Earth playing the game, yet you don't... It's video game logic, whatever. It's fun, that's all that matters, right? The Doom 2016 rocket launcher is extremely powerful, but everybody is wrong as to why, because the secret lies with something that very, very few people know, and I'm going to teach you. The power is in its mastery ability. Yes, once you put enough weapon points in it and complete the task to master this, you have a new ability. Normally, this lets you fire a rocket and detonate that rocket in midair. Pretty cool, and especially if you don't have such great aim. But when you master it, this said rocket continues to fire, so you get a free aerial explosion rocket along with the other original rocket continuing to blast its target. Whereas before, if you detonate it, it explodes in midair just as you plan, and you're done. Now this is the point where most people think it ends. You have a great weapon and you combo it with others, canceling out their animations for some supreme firing speed. More on how that works in a moment, but see there's so much more to 2016's launcher. It may be an unintentional secret. See, if you connect an enemy with a rocket when it's mastered, you get the damage from the original rocket fired and the extra remote detonate one even if you never detonated it. A direct hit is insane, so that's literally two rockets for the price of one. One click, one ammo, one shot, two rockets, and extreme damage. And if that's not good enough, upon contact, the enemies are filled with shrapnel for some nasty damage over time. Did you realize just how OP this thing was? Now it's interesting how people realize just how good this weapon is in one way, but not the way under the hood, never realizing why its true potential is staggering. Oh boy, imagine this. You are merciless to your enemies, bringing them rage, brutal without mercy. Yet you, you are worse. I mean, literally because you keep dying. The fruits of your labor are rotten and worthless. But what if I had the answer to your perilous plight? One that would give you a sense of power and adrenaline, putting you into the fun zone. Introducing your new best friend, the Doom Eternal Rocket Launcher. Firstly, it's named the Pain Giver, and it's forged from the metal smelting pits of the Golgothan Enclave. Its only purpose, to enact pain upon the weak. <laughs> Whoa, that's freaking metal. So how's it feel in battle? Doom Eternal's rocket launcher is much more than a point and click. It's most well known for its lock-on burst alternate fire. You lock on an enemy and it fires a triple rocket salvo of doom. This will incapacitate or stagger, or in other words, stun mid-tier enemies and do a ton of damage. 
Each rocket is essentially as powerful as a regular shot, but the triple back to back to back really adds up. Imagine the power to delete those enemies that intimidated you before. And if that wasn't enough fun zone, the slob technique, or Siler lock-on burst, named after its founder, is a quick lock-on that, when executed with the proper button presses and cancellations, enables a fast lock-on. If you aren't into that, there's always the quick switching. Shooting a gun like the heavy cannon's precision bolt, a snipe, quick scope style, switching to the rocket launcher and back to cancel each weapon's animation, making for much faster shots. You can even cut the rocket launcher's animation by punching, thus titled punch swapping, if you only need the rocket and you don't need that other gun used. The remote detonation mod of Eternal is nothing like 2016's power, but honestly, it's so deadly already, and that's probably why it's going down as one of the greatest rocket launchers in FPS history. Now if you like this video, check out the one I just did, just like this one on Doom's Super Shotgun. Now YouTube has a special they're running to give half off to most people's first month of membership to support the channel, and if you join, I'll even put your name on the screen. Thanks to all the members, and thank you for watching.